Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to take a look at setting up and customizing the properties of automated email messages in designer applications. In Spreadsheet Web, there are mainly two ways you can send automated email notifications. Through action buttons in a designer application and from the data page based on the records saved under an application. The first one entails creating an email process in the designer and assigning it into the events of an action button. This way, the email process will be triggered whenever the action button is pressed. The data page method consists of two approaches, application notifications and custom triggers. Application notifications can be configured to send an email when the ownership, status, group, or notes of a record is changed in the workflow. Custom triggers, on the other hand, allow creating a logic around any database columns, which would be checked either once or on a periodic basis, and then send out emails if the conditions are met. Let's see how these features work on an example. Here we have an order entry application that can capture the order details of customers. Assume that we have several people in the management and sales levels, and we're going to create a workflow around all users. We can use any or all three types of email notifications to notify the system users when certain things happen in the system, like when a new order request is entered, when it's approved, or if there are any pending requests that need attention. Here we have a manager user and a Boston sales user in this example. Let's say we want to send an email to notify the manager user when the sales user creates a new order, and then notify the sales user when the order is approved. Then we're also going to notify the manager user if there are any pending records that need attention. The first part, sending notifications when a record is created, can be done by creating an email process and assigning it to an action button in the UI, like a submit button. To do this, we need to go to the designer interface and then to the email processes. Here, clicking add email process will take us to the screen where we can define and customize the properties like the recipients and the contents of that email. For example, here we want to notify our manager users whenever a new record is created so that they can go into the data page and review new records. Subject line, the recipients, as well as the body type can be set to a static value or pulled from a value from your workbook. To set a static value to these fields, select static. If you select by value of, you will be given another option where you can select from workbook columns. The static recipient field will allow selecting from the system users under your Spreadsheet Web account. Here you can select any number of users to be the recipients of this email. You can add stubs into the contents of the email body from the stubs menu. When you click this, you will see the insert stub window. Here you can select from name ranges in your workbook and easily add them into the contents. Once you select a name range, you can select a format for that particular name range to be used in the contents. Or you can enable the pull format from Excel box to get this information from the Excel workbook. When you click Insert Stub, the system will automatically add that stub into the Contents field. You can then copy and paste this wherever you want. Clicking Create Email Process will add this process into the system. Now we need to go to the User Interface Designer and assign this to the Action button. Now, whenever this button is pressed during runtime, an email notification will be sent to the manager user. You can use statuses to indicate which records are new or have been approved. The status names are fully customizable and can be edited from the status colors menu. After the manager users review a record, they can flip the status of a record from new to approved. At this point, we might want to send those records back to the salesperson, and the easiest way to notify them when this happens is using the second automated email method, the application notification. Application notifications can be enabled from the notification menu when you're on the data page of a designer application. 
Note that you can't see this page if you don't have any records saved under that application. Once enabled, the Notifications window allows selecting from workflow properties. The first option, Transfer Ownership, will send an email when the owner of a record saved under this application changes. The Change Status option notifies the recipients when the status of a record changes. When Change Group option is selected, an email will be sent when a record is assigned to a different group. And finally, Add Note option will trigger a notification when the Notes section of a record is edited. In our example, we're going to be using the Change Status option. In our workflow, we want to notify the sales users when the status of a record changes, so we're going to add them into the recipients field. The contents of this email can be edited from the body section. Here you can use certain tags depending on the notification type you've selected. For example, the change group option allows using the previous group and new group tags when placed in curly braces. The system will automatically update these tags with the corresponding names when a notification is triggered. You can click the test button to send a test email without actually doing this from the application. Click save when you're done. Finally, let's set up another email notification rule to catch any records in the system that haven't been reviewed in over 30 days. For this, we can use the custom triggers feature. This module can be accessed from the data page, given that your application has records saved under it. On the custom notifications page, click add custom notification to begin creating an automated email notification with custom rules. The notification name is simply a friendly name that is only used to distinguish a particular custom trigger from the others. The recipients and the contents of the email can be modified from the subject, recipients, and body fields. The body section also allows the use of certain tags given underneath this section. The next section on this page is where we need to create the logic. In our example, we want to use this as a means to remind our manager users that there are pending records in need of review. The first drop-down is where you can select a database field or system field. To check for status names, we're going to use the status index field. We're looking for records that have a certain status. We're going to select Equal in the next drop-down. And then, the last field is where we can add the comparison. In our workflow, the status new corresponds to index number 1, so we're going to put that number here. We're also going to need to add a second rule to look for only records that have it in the new status and were created over 30 days ago. For this, we need to click Add Rule, select Date Created, then use Older Than Days, and enter 30. We want both of these conditions to be true for the trigger email to be sent. For that, we're going to make sure that AND is selected. This way, both conditions will need to be true for the email notification to be sent. The schedule type property determines whether the system will run this rule only once and send emails that one time, or keep checking for it periodically and keep sending emails every time the conditions are met. In our example, we wanted to send emails if there are any records with new status at the beginning of the day. Setting up the recurring fields accordingly, this process will run every day at 3 a.m. and will keep running until the end date. Please note that custom triggers will initiate a notification email for every record under the application that satisfies these conditions. For example, if there are five new records when the system checks for these conditions, our recipients will receive five separate emails. Now let's log in with the sales user and start creating a new record. The first email will be sent when the sales user clicks the Submit button. This is the record that was just created. Currently, it's new status. The manager user has just received an email notifying them of a new record in the system. Now they can log into their account and go to that particular record. If everything looks good, they can simply change its status. This action has just sent a notification email to the salesperson. They can now tell their clients that their order has been approved and then transfer the record to the finance department for payment collection. Currently, we have two records in the system that haven't been reviewed in over 30 days. For this, the manager user will receive two notification emails tonight.